on the surface of things, we're just looking at two people in what would be considered an everyday activity. But there does seem to be a spark between them. Fine arts illuminate our present and explicate our past. SCAD professors teach brilliant young creators every day. And in this series, we reveal the works that most inspire our experts. Today we travel to the Dutch Golden Age with Jakob Ochtervelt's The Music Lesson. Our expert guide on this journey is SCAD's Chair of Art History, the aptly named Art de Furia. So why do people revere this work so much? It's a teaching moment. It's an invitation to learn. The Dutch Golden Age was truly a time of affluence in the Dutch Republic. The phrase that they used in the Republic to describe paintings like this was tot leering an vermak, oh. which means to delight and instruct. That's yeah. what we do at SCAD. That's right, that's exactly <laughs> right. We are in that tradition. Would you call this a genre painting? Absolutely right, mm. yes, a slice of life. <laughs> On the surface of things, we're just looking at two people in what would be considered an everyday activity. This is a music lesson. We see the instructor and her pupil. The two of them appear to be locked in what one might interpret as an amorous gaze. He certainly seems to be eager to learn from her and she certainly seems to enjoy teaching him. But I think that if you look closely at her eyes, one could argue that she's not looking directly at him, that mm. in fact she's looking slightly away from his gaze and trying to redirect him with her hand back to... The music. The music, <laughs> right. It's very subtle, and this is the beauty of genre paintings. Most examples, would bring out the mindset of their viewers. If someone was to look at this and say, oh, these two are completely in love, right? That would say more about that viewer than it might say about the painting because someone else could look at it and say, no, 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 this is not love. This is a music lesson. That's the name of the painting. You're wrong. So lovely. What about the Spaniel? Right, so you notice the dog. Um, this gets us back to a really old line of symbolism. <laughs> and It's not uncommon to see dogs in paintings of Venus. There's one in Titian's Venus of Urbino. There's one in the very famous Arnolfini wedding portrait. They always symbolize loyalty. And so if we consider the fact that the teacher in this scene is older than the pupil. Mm -hmm. And there does seem to be a spark between them. Then someone with concern for fidelity in their own life could yeah. point to the dog and say, mm -hmm. the painting is showing us a reminder that she should not transgress beyond particular boundaries mm -hmm. that have been set up for her. So lovely, you could look at this for a long time. I can see why people would want to have it in their homes. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm sure it matched the floor and the, and the walls, you know. Uh, those subtle colors would go well in just about any room. It's a little shout out to the interior design people. <laughs> and then in the background, we see a map of the Dutch Republic. And the Dutch were known as cartographers and mariners, right? Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah. We must ask, why would this be in this painting? There was also a lot of talk and a lot of writing about how the home is a microcosm of the Republic. And therefore, you know, this gets us back to our, our puppy, right? <laughs> staying loyal, right? Staying loyal to one's family and privileging the family unit was 
really the gateway towards a strong nation. So the narrative is there. What about the technical aspects of the painting? He's a master of the figure, and he's also a master of light. The light flows in from the left. The figures are bathed in it, or they're in shadow, and the contrasts really bring out where the eye should be directed. Subtle coloration, it's not garish colors. He's really trying, I think, to replicate what the eye sees. This, I think, helps give the image a vivification, a sense of movement. He is a technical master. The painting really, I think, asks one to consider the choices they make. Yeah what you do in your personal life, then it does cumulatively have an impact. Yes, <laughs> that's absolutely right. Art, thank you so much for being here, discussing this painting, teaching me a lot, and for all you mean to our students. Thank you so much for having me here. It's been a real pleasure. For all of you watching, keep the conversation going in the comments, and I'll see you next time.